Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. So, since last episode, um, I have done a little bit of wheel farming, and we actually have 644 raw wheel in here at the moment. Um, so we do have enough to craft um, if we need to this episode. Um, but there's a couple things that we're going to be working on this episode. Of course, we're going to continue on work with the cobble works. And then after this episode, we'll kind of switch gears for maybe a couple episodes and maybe we'll come back to this. But um, anyways, what we're going to be doing first and foremost is we're going to be automating cobblestone. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a breaker just like we did uh, last episode. Uh, these right here, the block miners. I want to make, um, I'm thinking just one of these should be good. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and actually make just a batch of pistons because I'm going to need some later. Uh, wood casings, iron plates, red alloy. Let's see, I'm going to break this stuff down. We'll go ahead and run like 10 more of these, I think. Oh, we're working on stuff. And then I've got some right here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and make four pistons to start with. That'll be plenty for our needs right now. Um, that's one thing I want to uh, work on getting is easier plates. Because right now, of course, we have to use two ingots per plate. I would like to get down to where we're using one per plate. That would be great. Um, the wood casings. Okay, let me go grab some essence. I'm not even going to bother with using a saw because it's just not really that important to us. We pretty much have, like, infinite wood at this point. So, all right, there's 15 of those. And then, then I just need some kind of stone. Okay, there's four pistons. That should be good, at least for now. Um, and then we need iron picks. That's, oh, that, I didn't think about that. That's going to be the worst part. Well, I'm only making one of these right now. Um, I just need the pistons for something else. So, let's see. I wonder if I can use um, an enchanted pick. Like an unbreaking two. Oh, we'll find out. But, um... All right, there's our electrotain, and then we're going to need, uh, oh yeah, we need mossy cobble and compressed iron. Um, how much compressed iron do I have left? That's not enough. Okay, let me grab another stack of this, and I'm going to go out. I'm, generally, I've got creepers running around. I'm just going to try to make compressed iron with the creepers uh, instead of wasting time making TNT, I think. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and do two stacks. No. Oh, come on. Okay, it worked. I don't know why it does that. If I light something, it's like it, it does a block update and it just like sucks it into your inventory real quick. Um, okay, so we got about a stack, almost a stack and a half. With what we've got back at the base, we've got about a stack and a half. So that will be fine. Okay, so I wanted... And then I gotta make a dispenser and get the mossy cobble. Okay. Okay, so there's our block miner. We'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we need to set up our lava and water. And I'm thinking we're gonna do this. Let's just bring this across like that. And we'll pretend for a minute. Well, this will be where the border is gonna be for this room. Um, so most of this section back in here is gonna be cut off. And then we'll have everything ran back behind that. Uh, of course, once again, these these dacite bricks may change, but um, then what we're going to do is let's see. Our block miner is going to set. Uh, we'll have this setting. I don't know if I want it flush with this. Is that what I want to do? Or bring it back so it's set up right there, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. So we can kind of avoid just a flat wall, and then I can do some stuff on these. Uh, it kind of gives me an extra block space to work with. But then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our... Let's see, that's already connected. Uh, let's see, there. We'll put a block there. Put a block there, there. Okay, and then we're going to have, um, let's see, let's put this right here. Or, okay, yeah, that, that requires redstone. We'll put a block, or water block right there, 
And then we're going to have, of course, on this side, we're going to have lava. So let's do that. Okay, and then all we got to do is always on. There we go. So basically, it's making it's making cobblestone back here. Uh, and then what I want to do is for the item collection system. I'm thinking what we'll do is put one of the dungeon tactics barrels. I think this should work, and I don't think they're going to catch on fire uh, from the lava being nearby. If they do, then uh, oops, I'm going to need the saw for this. If they do, we'll have to change it up to like a hopper or something. But I think. I think a barrel should be good for this. So we'll set that up right there. And then if we turn this back on. Okay, stuff's breaking. Let's grab um, input routing node. Maybe this will work. Uh, apparently I just linked it to something. Okay, it's linked over to there. Okay, if we put cobblestone into here. Okay, yeah, it's filling up. It's definitely filling up. Um, okay, so that's running. I'd really like to have this auto breaker. Honestly, because it, it has its own inventory, which would be even better. Maybe we should go for that instead. That's actually not that expensive to set up. We might do that. I'm going to leave that one plugged up for right now. Um, but I don't think I have the void crystals. No, I got one of them. And then, of course, there's the mining upgrade, which works really well, too. But this will work for right now. This will work for right now's purposes. And then we'll probably upgrade it later on. That's fine. We've been upgrading. We've been adding little upgrades and stuff to it this whole time. Um, but I could have a comparator come out of the barrel, which would work um, pretty well. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to make a couple furnaces, and the redstone furnaces from Thermal Expansion are really cheap. Um, just requiring some bricks and copper plates and then copper coils. It's a lot of copper, but that's about it. Um, and I actually want two of these, in fact. So let me get, let's see, we're going to need uh, eight of these things. And then, I'm out of copper, actually. <laughs> I don't have any more copper. So I'm actually going to have to go mining, it looks like, uh, to finish out what I was wanting to do here. I'll go ahead and get this part of it laid out. And um, let's see, then we're going to need eight pieces of glass. Which that's one of the things we're going to be making with the furnace is glass. Oh, and I actually have all of this. Um, I can at least make one of these right now. And then I've got this block of copper. Okay, I can get one of the furnaces made, and then I can go do a little bit of mining. That'll be fine. So, whoops, there is those, and, okay, yeah, I don't have any, I don't have any plates in there, but, okay, there's one redstone furnace. And, okay, I want that. Let's see, I probably need that, and then I'm going to need, um... I don't have any more LV wire, which takes a bit more copper. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to go mining. I'm going to have to. So, I'll be back here in just a minute. Once I get a little bit of mining done, I have to go get uh, a fair amount of copper. Okay, I got back. Um, I got a few things. I did get some lapis, which I was pretty happy about. Um, that's not bad. And I got actually just right out of full stock. Of iron. There wasn't any more lying around or anything. It, was, it just came out to be exactly one stock. So, um, okay, so we need eight of these. There we go. And we'll get our other furnace. There we go. And then I'm going to need some LV wire coils, um, wooden gears. Let me pop up stairs. Okay, there's quite a bit of wood products. More than what I'm going to need, but that's okay. Okay, there's four wooden gears. These craft eight at a time, right? Ten at a time. Or eight, no, I'm sorry, eight at a time. Um, okay, and then we need the cutters. 
Then I'm also going to need some more super glue. And I'll tell you what I'm actually probably going to do. Since we can just buy 10 things of super glue. Okay, let's go ahead and make ourselves some... Or it's like that. That. There's our empty sails. And then I'm going to need uh, five silver and three gold coins. Not a problem. We don't ever really use this stuff for much of anything anyway, so we'll go ahead and detect it. And then we get ten super glue sails. Okay. That should work. And we'll just toss... I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and just toss all this in here. That's fine. Okay, and... Then we need, uh, for the LV wire coils, we need seven copper wires each. And then our wood gears, and then I think it's, what, wood? Like that or something? Yeah, and then we need cutters, pliers, driver. Okay, there we go. There's 16 of that. And then we need the LV wire connectors, which are, luckily, they're standard. Okay, we'll get that stuff smelted up. Then we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and make uh, two batches of connect... Oh, no, wait, that's just one batch, isn't it? Yeah, that's just one batch. It's the other one that's cheaper. Okay, there is our LV wire connectors. All right. And, hey. I'm actually up to 725 on wheel now. So... Okay, so then we have to run some power over. Um, for the furnaces, I might put these over on this wall. Um, and just kind of have them lined out. And I'm actually probably going to put... Let's see. I'll put the furnaces forward a block. And then we'll have, like, let's see. And then we can have a corner piece there. Yeah, I'm going to put the furnace uh, starting right there is what we're going to do. And then let me grab this out so I can remove that. Um, we'll have a furnace there, and we'll have a furnace. We'll have furnaces like that is what we're going to do. I could put um, um, one block between. It would cut down the amount of, uh, like, importers that we need, but... Uh, this will be fine. Um, we're going to say that the right-hand side is going to be input. And then on the back, we're going to have our LV power that comes in right there. Um, let's go ahead and set up a relay system that's going to run to right there. And then what we'll do is we'll just bring the power over like that. Bring the power down and connect. Down and connect like that. And that's starting to get power built up in it. And then what we'll do is we're going to need, um, well, we're going to need some a few more routing nodes. We're going to need inputs and exports. And I guess I'm going to do one to one or two to one. We're going to have an input and an export. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's pop over. We're going to need a couple things for this, in fact. Let me dump off that. that um let's see we are going to want some routing nodes for starters um redstone glowstone stone and glass which actually for the stone and glass i'm going to go ahead and just throw this stuff into there there we go that ran for just a second just to get its, its sand built back up um okay and I'm going to go ahead and grab some gold and iron. Um, and then we're also going to want uh, frames for this. And so what we're going to do, these frame parts, we're going to need to make these, which are slates, glass, and any kind of stone. And then we're going to have to upgrade these. How much are these a piece? Ten wheel. Okay. Um, we're going to want to upgrade these to precise item filters which is just more glass and sticks okay we'll go ahead and get this running and building up our routing nodes I'm gonna get uh, see we'll go with like six total 
So there's that. And then we're going to upgrade um, these. We're going to do three inputs, three outputs for right now. And then I'm also going to need some frame parts. Let me get those running. Okay, and those are done. Let's go ahead and get three of those going. And then let's see, our frame parts were, okay, just stone glass slates. Okay, there we go. It's a whole lot easier now that we've got, like, the main frame that we need, all the tartaric gems and stuff that we did last episode, you know, they're in place, uh, which is good. It's very, very good, but, um, yeah, I think next episode we're probably going to go into that roguelike dungeon, I do believe. Um, I think it's, I think it's due time that we go in there, so... Okay, let's go ahead and grab this stone and this glass out. Stone is going to get slotted, um, now we'll say right here. Glass is going to go right there. Okay, and then what I want to do is let's go ahead and craft up our precise filters. Um, I need sticks. I forgot I dumped my sticks, didn't I? Okay, so there's four of those. And these, you can't really have too many of these. You might as well just craft up a bunch of them. Um, we're going to be... Before too long, we're going to be fully, just fully automating these. So, all right. So we've got those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up an output routing node here, an output routing node here. Um, okay, we've actually used up all of that. And let's go ahead and do an input routing node here and here. And then what we're going to do is connect these, that, to that, that, to that and then output routing node I'll tell you what I should do maybe something we should have done in the first place let's go ahead and set ourselves up an input routing node system this will be a separate line inputs gonna go there we're gonna grab that connection and Let's see, we were sending, um, yeah, let's go ahead and pull that off. And we're going to connect it to this system. I need to make another master node for this to work, though. I'll pop over there and make another one of those. They're not that expensive. Then we're going to grab this input and connect it here. This can connect to there. That way, this is kind of a separate system. Everything that's outputting out of our system. Um, so it's going to output, um, well, let me grab our items for this. Let's grab cobblestone and sand. And what we're going to do is we're going to say this is on the south side. That's facing. So we're going to click here for south. We're going to take our precise filter, drop it in right there, and we're going to put cobblestone into this. And you can set a number here if you want to keep exactly, say, 10 cobblestone. You can do that. Um, but we're just going to leave it as is. And then right here, um, or not east, south side. And actually, I think, I, I, well, really, I guess we don't really need the precise filters, I don't think. Uh, for this to work, precise is if you want to keep a precise amount of items or something like that. Um, I actually believe that they'll filter without it, but we'll find out here in just a second. Okay, so I need a block of diamond, I mean a block of iron, a diamond, and an imbued slate. Okay, and oh, we forgot, um, or I forgot. Let's set this to output side, and this one output side. So that way these can pull the items in and dump them into here. There we go. Okay, so let me pop over. Let me get our master node, which is going to pretty much drain us on wheel again because it's going to consume like 200, but that's okay. Um, that way we have a separate line that's pulling things from the cobble works and dumping them into, you know, making more items. And then we have one that's just for straight depositing um, into there. Which will actually kind of work out better for us, so we might as well do that. Okay, so there's all of that, and our Tartar Gem. Awesome. There is our Master Node. Aha! And we still got 315 wheel, which really isn't all that bad, and then I can... You know, I can farm some more up between episodes. Like I said, we're going to be automating wheel. I want to spend probably the next couple episodes, we'll do a little bit of exploration. Um, try to keep it kind of balanced. Since we're at the point now where we do have the armor and stuff that we can go exploring, I would like to do that next episode. But then um, 
or the next maybe next couple episodes we'll see but but then after that we'll get back to this okay so we're going to set this master node up um like right uh, right here and this will be the one that handles our inputs from the cobble works is what it does okay so if we pop over here and we take a look um stone is okay yeah it does need a precise filter then my bad i couldn't remember if it had to have it or not but that's fine so send me some sand this one is getting the cobblestone. It's making smooth stone. This one, strangely enough, is not pulling in sand. Oh, because it wiped it. There we go. Precise filter. Give us sand. There we go. Now we've got sand being pulled into here. And I guess smooth stone does make circuit plates. I thought we tried to smelt that like last episode and it didn't work, but maybe not. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do circuit plates real quick. Let me make another furnace. Um, which I know I'm going to need, uh, silicon. The only thing is I'm going to have to go mining again <laughs> and get more copper. Wow, we've used up so much copper. There's not, a, there's not like a quest for this where I can just buy like a stack of copper, is there? I need to make copper seeds is what I really need to do. Let's see. What does it take to make copper seeds? Okay, they're just a tier two craft. I think I've actually got tier two laid out over here. I've got one. Like, I was planning on doing the circuit plates, but for some reason I was thinking they took andesite and granite. It must be any stone. But I could have swore last episode I tried to smelt stone and it did not work. But um, it's very, very possible that I've just lost my mind. So it wouldn't be the first time. Okay, so there is 10 more tier 2 seeds. And then there's two copper seeds. So I'm going to go mining for a little bit more copper so we can make that furnace a reality. Plus, I'm going to need, uh, I think I'm going to need copper for something else. I think I was looking at something I need copper for. But um, Anyways, I'll be back. I should probably make food before I go, just in case. But I'll be back here in just a minute. Okay, um, I got a few things. I got a few things together. So, um, oh, let me pop up here and get sticks. And then I think with whatever's left over, I'm just going to make seeds. Um, because we've been going through a ton of copper of light and there's 46 left over do i just want to use all of that yeah let's go ahead and just use all of it for making seeds or at least make the the well we've got enough for nine so that'll be good that's going to put us up to 11 seeds so and i think we get a quest complete from that yeah okay what do we get for that do we get another copper seed we get a copper gear okay and honestly, our copper shortage days are probably over. Because <laughs> anytime we need copper, we're probably going to have plenty of essence on hand for it. So, And I'll keep adding to those seeds until we get the full 40 on those. But Okay, so our redstone furnace, we're going to set this up setting... Um, actually, can I place it like that? Yes, cool. Okay, we're going to say that the output is going to be on this side. The input's going to be on that side. Um, as far as power goes, we're going to connect it... Right there into the back and bring that down. There we go. And then for our inputs, oh, you know what? I need another input node, which actually I've got two. I've got two glowstone left, so I can pull this off. Okay, I went out and just killed some mobs and also mined up a little bit more copper and stuff. And our, I actually need to unequip this shield. I ran into some skeletons down there, so. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and grab all this stuff. Honestly, I've got so much of this stuff building up. Uh, okay, so quest complete. Copper essence and copper ingots. We get a couple more copper essence. And then for the ingots, we get an uncommon loot bag. So let's see. What do we get in our loot bag? Mana steel. Efficiency four. Okay. But we did get our routing nodes done. So good stuff. Okay, so let's pop over here. Let me dump. that stuff into there okay so our input routing node we can just attach this um or what we didn't have an input routing node for this i don't know i'm losing my mind i really am we need an output routing node setting right there is all we needed because that one's already <laughs> my bad my bad that's okay 
uh, on the output, we're going to say on the north side, you're going to output stone. Okay, and then grab that connection, connect it there, and there we go. Now we're pumping in stone, and we should be getting circuit plates, which are going to get pulled out and dumped into here. We've got six, there's eight, and so on. Okay. Awesome. And we're keeping up on cobblestone and all that. Okay, so now that that's in place, um, input routing node. I may have to go grab some glowstone. Uh, let me grab these circuit plates. Go ahead and dump these in here because we don't need those. We're pretty much going to have 16 stacks of circuit plates, 16 stacks of stone and cobblestone and glass and all those wonderful things. Okay, and there's one other thing I would like to get. One thing I would like to get is an elevator, but uh, we're not going to get that this episode. <laughs> That'll be like, uh, if we have a little bit of extra time, maybe next episode or something, we'll set up our elevators. It's actually not that big of a rush for me. Uh, but one thing I do want to do is I want to make our new hook. You know, we talked about it before. It's high time that we make a new hook. Let's see. Okay, yeah, basically I just need a bunch of sticks, and I'm going to need some saplings, and then just some iron, copper, diamond, that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and upgrade to the... Uh, to the diamond hook. Um, it's a little bit expensive. It's actually not that bad, though. Um, we need the pliers. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that. And then we're going to need... Uh, let's see, I need three of these. Okay, so there's our iron chains. We're going to need uh, a bit of rope. So, plant fibers. There's our rope. And then we're going to need a wooden grip. There's that. And then our diamond hook. Plenty of hooks, plenty of speed. Okay, so then we can swap out... No, equip it. There we go. Okay. Let me dump that in there. That's a whole lot better. Look at that. Now, there is... Um, yeah, I've got hooks everywhere. Um, this is kind of like the Terraria hooks. Of course, this mod is heavily based on Terraria. So, there is a couple other. Um, there's the red hook and the ender hook. The ender hook, fast, very, very fast. It is extremely fast. Um, it does require a majestic component, though, and a little bit of enderium. Uh, titanium and then it requires the diamond hook so making the diamond hook it's not a big deal because we can always upgrade to the ender hook later on the red hook creative flight within the volume defined by the hooks um, basically you can set your hooks kind of like if I do like this and I do that you know I'm kind of floating here in the middle of this um, but if I have the the red hook I can actually like basically fly around like move my character um, to where I can move like fly within that zone that I set with the hooks. So that's also a very powerful one. It also requires the diamond hook um, as an upgrade. Both of these are really, really good. I like the ender hook personally more because you just travel insanely fast. So, okay, but at least now we have circuit plates and we have smooth stone and we have glass and we have cobblestone and um, basically we added these four things to it. Um, we can, another thing that we can do fairly easily that we're going to be doing not next episode, like I said, I want to spend a couple episodes exploring a little bit. Um, but what we're going to start moving into in the next few episodes is we are going to set up mechanical squeezers. Uh, now granted the standard squeezer, of course, it can be automated. There's a couple, there's a couple variations on ways that you can automate this. It's not very difficult, um, but it's not really worth bothering with, um, I don't think. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up a couple of mechanical squeezers in the coming episodes. We are going to start automating um, the methane gas, and we are also going to automate gravel and flint using mechanical squeezers. Uh, so that stuff will be automatically coming in, and then we're probably going to start plugging up our farms, I think, with some auto farmers and start moving into auto farming stuff, uh, which, will be, which will be really, really nice, having all this stuff being automatically collected and coming in it's going to help out a ton so uh but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did as always 
be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.